Hi, my name is Melanie. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't click off this video just because my makeup is done or not done. It's just it's an early Monday morning. I have to go to the I have to go to the DMV. For those of you who do not live in the states, the DMV is Department of Motor Vehicles, and that takes long. And I have a class to teach today at 9:10. It opens at 8. It's like 7:30, so I need to go. Like I need to go right now because I I have to hurry up. So I'm like putting everything together. I'm gonna put you guys off on the side while I do all this. really really awful lighting like bad bad lighting I am finally home, finally home. I did what I needed to do at the DMV. Look at that, let it focus. <laughs> Department of Motor Vehicles, when you go, you have to be prepared for anything and you always have to go prepared. I almost wasn't prepared, but I got everything I needed to take care of, which was great. And now I just have to wait for that, for my car title to come in the mail. And it's finally mine. I got my own registration now. Never had it before. So that's exciting that I wanted to share with you guys. I have to hurry up and get inside though because it's 9.06 and my class starts at 9.10. So I got to go. I'm going to set you guys up so you can see a little bit of what I do. And then I have, I am meeting a big YouTuber today. And I'm so excited because we have a Zoom call. My time one, her time three o'clock. So I am gonna have you guys there with me too. So excited! Okay, I gotta go, I, I really gotta go, bye. I feel so behind. I, I'm gonna take my stuff out to my desk because my boyfriend, I think, I don't hear him. And I think he had a meeting today. Let me see. It's quiet. Babe? I am just going everywhere today. Today, I am just, uh, but no, it's not even just today. I feel like this is every day. I feel like I'm losing my mind, just losing it constantly. Where's my tripod? There we go, oh my gosh, my hair. Okay, I kinda wanna turn the heater on just because it's so freezing in here. I think I'm gonna turn it on for like five minutes. I live in California and it is 48 degrees in the morning right now, so let me go ahead and turn on that thermostat because it's 66 degrees in here right now. Oh, no, not fan. Um, mode, heat. I've never turned the heater on, so that's exciting. Um, no, let's take it to, let's take it to 77. <laughs> Great, now that heater is on. Heater is on, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be super loud though, and I'm pretty sure that mic is picking up everything. But I wonder if it's bright enough for you guys to see me make my breakfast. Or if I should just place you, or if I should just place you somewhere. Ah, I kind of want to place you somewhere, but I feel like that's too dark. So I was going to show you how I was going to make my breakfast, but 
I have the worst angles when it comes to making food. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna bother to show you how I make my breakfast because I tried, the light is just so bad. It's yellow, it's dark in there. It's not gonna show up, nothing's gonna show up. Just because I'm such a mess, I am just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna come back when my food is done. Class starts at 10.35, what time is it? It is going to be 10, so I do have some time. I'm going to take some time to gather my consent, to just like compose myself and relax. I just need to sit and eat and do that, and then I, I should be fine. Oh, I am just checking in. My boyfriend is back. You're probably going to hear him in the background. Gosh, I feel like I'm everywhere. I've done two of my classes, and I had three classes. That's how our school system works. I had the heater on, and so my boyfriend came home and he turned it off, and it wasn't even hot, but he was freaking hot. He said that the apartment was burnt to a crisp, and I was like, oh geez. I swear, I'm gonna look into investing a heater for my feet because my feet get really cold, and if I don't invest in a heater first, I'm gonna get fuzzy socks. I honestly, I might go to Marshalls later on today because I need to buy, I need to buy gym pants. I ran out, I only have two because I personally like to wear shorts when I'm at the gym, just because I like to see the definition in my legs when I'm working out because I, it's like, it's a reminder that, hey Melanie, you've done this, you've did, you've like done this. I am so excited to meet, I am meeting one of my YouTube idols. But before I get into that, I'm a substitute teacher and I am working on getting my credential. You know, when you're becoming a teacher, you just get so many ideas for your classroom. And some of the ideas I had for my classroom, I'm implementing them in this classroom that I'm doing a long-term subbing position for. So like I was saying, I'm in a better spot. I have more lighting. It's not like I have a beautiful window in front of me. I have learned how to use the correct lighting. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. But anyways, so I've been wanting to implement a lot of ideas that I wanted for my own classroom in this long-term subbing position. The teacher that I am subbing for, she is amazing. She's so great. She honestly has no problems letting me take the reins of her classroom, which is big for some teachers. Like Some teachers like to have their classroom a certain way and that's how they want their substitutes to run it. I did run by this idea. So what I'm doing with my classroom is I have career day Fridays with them. The school really wants teachers to implement careers after high school, college after high school. They want us to prepare our students for the real world out there and after high school. And because we're in Zoom, I thought it would work even better because I could get anyone from anywhere. I decided to ask a lot of my friends and some family and I didn't want just you know jobs that we see in day to day I wanted so many different jobs from both a male and females perspective like you know I wanted both to show this is what you could do after high school a lot of things that you could do I want the students to know there are so many jobs in this country like in this country you could be what Ever you want to be like when I was little that was a real cliche because you know I didn't take it seriously I was like okay yeah I could be whatever I want to be but it's just with all that choice we don't know what we want to be at least for me and I don't want the students to have that kind of problem because for me I didn't decide I wanted to become a teacher until like I had to change my major three times but now I don't even know if I want to become a teacher I would love to become a YouTuber. I would love to make my own business from my own name, from my own brand. Like I have so many ideas of the future for this channel, for a brand that I would love to come out with, for things I wanna do. I'm, I, I, I'm very artistic in certain areas and I would love to sell those pieces and just create things, especially for me. To be able to make a living off of this channel and off of my brand and do what I love, create the art that I want to have the, and then sell them and to have the time to create that artwork and make people happy is something that I would love to do. Teaching is also a great fulfillment, which is why I do it. I love helping out the students. Going back to why I started this career day, I decided to reach out to one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Katherine Manning. I mentioned her so much on my channel, like left and right. 
If you're watching this, Catherine, you are great. You are so inspirational. I love watching your videos. Sometimes I watch your videos and they're 17 minutes and I'm like, I felt like it was freaking five minutes. <laughs> so that's, I love her content. And she has these Q and A's on Wednesdays, I believe on her Instagram, on her channel and on other people's channels. They're like the only person holding you back is yourself. In this career day, I did, I did reach out to some Instagrammers who, you know, have a lot of following and I asked them, they sadly didn't respond. I don't know if it's because they just have so many followers that they didn't see my direct message or you know what and i kind of got deflated like oh, you know i wanted to have somebody you know that they've never had on career day like you know and we know all youtubers are busy we know all people who have big social media platforms are busy but i was like i i really really want to ask and then catherine had posted q a i want to ask her if she could present but I thought, oh, what if she doesn't see it? What if she doesn't even respond? And I said, so what? Just ask her, just ask her. But you messaged two other people on social media that didn't respond to you. You have other people to present for your career day who have great jobs and great platforms. You have enough people. There's nothing wrong with asking just one more person. The worst they could say is no, but I feel like even worse than that is probably them never responding. Anyways, she ended up responding back to me and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> so she ended up responding back to me. I'm sorry, I'm checking the time because it's almost 12 and my class is at 12. I have 10 more minutes until class starts. She ended up responding back to me and she told me to email her. And I said, oh my goodness, I have Catherine Manning's email. She told me that she would definitely respond to that email. I sent her an email and I said, hi, my name is Melanie. I am a teacher at, I'm doing this career day, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Just what I told you guys, right? She responded and she said that she would love to help out. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I was like, no way, no way. I'm so excited, especially when I talk to Catherine today. Catherine and I have been emailing about, you know, when we're gonna Zoom beforehand because I really wanna make sure the Zoom link works for her and you know, just a bunch of things that you have to be prepared for. I also asked her because I didn't know if I needed her consent to film but I thought if I were meeting with someone and they just recorded our conversation and put it up online, I'd be like, whoa, what if I said something that I didn't want to be online, you know? So it's always just better to ask, make sure that you have their approval. You know, when I was little, I looked up to so many people, but now as I'm older, she is somebody I really, really look up to. She is somebody I would love to have in my my circle of friends of just building each other up and growing a business together she is just that type of person who is so awesome i think she's a great role model and i want to have you know my reaction of meeting her because it, she's not a celebrity like a musical celebrity but she is someone like i said that i look up to that i hope to be like in some way in my business and she said yeah she was very appreciative that i did ask her for her permission but i'm so excited you guys are gonna see me meeting her me meeting her for the first time on video i'm gonna have it for myself because i'm gonna be editing the video but i hope you guys enjoy like today this vlog is the vlog for me and i have to go because my class starts in a few minutes so let's go Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I have no idea where I want to set up my cam my computer, but I am about to meet Catherine on Zoom in a little bit. I put on some earrings, but I feel like I look like a dork. Let me put on my hoops because my hoops are me. I am like low-key kind of hyperventilating, 
which I shouldn't be hyperventilating because I've met famous people before. Like I remember I met Jason Earls and I met him. He waited behind me. He was super chill. Now I really need to turn on my computer because I'm just like, ah! <laughs> I'm ready. So ready. <sighs> Okay, I'm so nervous, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I never sent the Zoom link. I am such a dork. <laughs> She's probably like, this girl, <laughs> this girl is a dork. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to send the Zoom meeting. And she sent it seven minutes ago. Oh my gosh, I feel so embarrassed. Okay, now I'm probably gonna meet her for reals. <laughs> She's here! Okay, relax, relax. Okay, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I, I thought I could hold it in. I thought I was gonna fangirl, but just let me go off screen real quick because I need to like fangirl right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm like, ooh. sorry. Okay, I, I'm like telling my camera, let me fix it real quick. Are <laughs> you vlogging? I'm vlogging and I was freaking out because I was telling my camera, I was like, I've met famous people before, like, you know. <laughs> But to me, you are. I was like going on for 10 minutes of my vlog, and I'm just like, whoa, hang on. <laughs> you have to send me your vlog when it's live so I can watch it. This is crazy. This has never happened to me before. Okay. Hi, Catherine. I'm Melanie. <laughs> and um, thank you so much. Like, just thank you so much for talking to the kids. I've been talking. You go ahead. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm just curious how, like, the flow of this is going to work, like, what to expect, because I've obviously never done anything like yeah. this before, mm -hmm. so it's like, I can talk about myself and what I do, but, no, I mean, I just want to know a little bit more about you, so, you oh. have a YouTube channel, but you're, like, a long-term substitute teacher, like, what is... Yes, so, but this was great, I'm so happy that I got to meet you, and, you know, the fangirl, it'll probably come back on Friday, but... Oh my gosh, I feel so comfortable with you now. And you send me your channel and your video. <laughs> I want to see you fangirl. Oh my you. god. You know, I don't think, I don't, I, I think I did a little bit in the camera, but I made sure to go over there because I have it like right here. But I think I caught a little bit, so I'll make sure to put it in and I'll just like zoom in on that thing. But I fangirled too before we connected. But if it helps, my face is super hot right now. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, Catherine. So I will see you Friday. Have a great week. Oh, tell Fancy I said hi. Oh my gosh, I will. <laughs> She's not in the room with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just got off a Zoom meeting with Catherine Manning. And oh, I'm like, I, I, I can't lie. I, I'm not going to lie. I freaking fangirled and I did not expect it. I'm so glad I was able to control it though because... I was shaking, like I was so nervous. I like, I hope I got it on camera, but I was just like, oh my gosh. And I almost cried, I almost cried. Like, <laughs> why do we cry when we meet somebody that we think is so awesome? She's awesome, guys. She is really, really awesome. She's such a sweet person. And she is gonna be my career day presenter on Friday and I really, really hope the kids appreciate her being there. Now to continue on with the rest of my day, I am supposed to go to the gym. I'm just gonna go to the gym for an hour. I'm not gonna take you guys in the gym with me just because I feel that there's too many people and I don't want them to be like, you know, I'm all up in their business. So I'm just, I'm gonna meet you guys when I come back from the gym. The rest of my day, I just have to edit. I'm gonna go talk to my boyfriend about this, so. I'll meet you guys back here when I'm done with the gym. Hey guys, I'm back. So judging by the lighting, I'm pretty sure you know that it is way later. It is actually gonna be five in four minutes and my hair looks crazy because I just came out of the shower. This was my first wash after I dyed it or after I re-dyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed me fangirling to meeting
Catherine Manning. Oh my gosh, she is the best. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>